Hello, welcome back to OmniFit TV. This is Joe Storm speaking. Tonight's video is about Lionel Messi. Messi has finally made his long-awaited move to Inter Miami. This is something that's been obviously on all of our minds, on our airwaves, in the media, in just on everything from social media to the news. Because, you know, bearing in mind that I am in North America right now, so it's all I've seen everywhere. And the unveiling was quite spectacular. I've come to agree with people believing that Messi's impact on the MLS is going to be much greater than David Beckham's, for obvious reasons. We're talking about the most successful footballer in history landing on American soil to change the face of football in the country, to change the way the sport is perceived, to change the way the sport is welcomed by the people of this country, of the, you know, the U.S., not Canada, because I'm in Canada right now, but you get the gist, to change the standards, to set them, to reset them, to revitalize a, a version or a format of the sport that people have looked at and viewed as lackluster. Now, people who follow football, and I'm not going to call it soccer for soccer's sake. People who follow football know exactly what I'm talking about. We give the MLS a lot of shtick. You know, it's not necessarily a kind of league that promotes progression in the, in, you know, for the sport or in the country or for the sport in the country in general. Because for the longest time, it's not been up to par. And I'm not necessarily saying that there was a point in time where it was. All I'm saying is that there's always been a lot of potential here, but it hasn't been fulfilled. Now, granted that a lot of American sides have done well in the CONCACAF Champions League, it still isn't on the level of the other leagues around it. Because the U.S. culturally hasn't really familiarized itself with football properly. Based on the format of the league, mind you, and the feedback of multiple players who have come here to play their trade. Zlatan Ibrahimovic is a perfect example. Now, here's the thing. We look at David Beckham's move to the MLS as the catalyst. It is, in fact, the catalyst of how we got this far to this very moment as we speak. But, Pele, you can't overlook Pele's move to the National, to the North American Soccer League, the NASL. His move to the New York Cosmos completely shifted the ground. It had an impact of seismic proportions on this continent on the United States, on the fact that people, on football in general there, because people didn't really have any kind of invested interest in the sport. They didn't have the MLS. The North American Soccer League actually folded a couple of years after Pele left. But what he did, he tripled attendances by two, three times, by 80%. And it kept growing. Wherever co the Cosmos played, they sold out because of Pele. And it wasn't, you know, it, it was something to build on. And despite the fact that the NASL did fold a couple of years later, as I mentioned, his impact is still felt up until this day. And if it were, you know, if it could have been more consistent and the league hadn't fallen short, then maybe the MLS would be entirely different. Now, the MLS was founded in the 90s. You look at it right now and think, this is a perfect shot at a do-over to something that already laid the groundwork of American football. Calling it American football makes you probably, I mean, it turns your head to the NFL, but that's, what I'm not, that's not what I'm referring to. Soccer, ugh, that word. Anyways. Going ahead with this, Messi's move could very well be everything that Pele's move didn't fulfill. 
because everything that followed needed more stability. Beckham's impact, for instance, faded with time. And now we have an option. We have multiple options, or rather the people who take care of the game in the U.S. have a couple of options to look at. One, use Messi's arrival to build on people's perception of the, of the sport, or allow it to be a short-term draw and let it fade after his retirement. I personally think that his influence is going to be far greater on the MLS than anyone who could, who could have ever arrived to this league. Because bear in mind, I've criticized the MLS in terms of its format multiple times. The fact that there's no relegation, the playoff system in regards to the top six teams. The way they used to take penalties before, I mean, that was pretty hilarious. But I digress. If this possibly allows the people in charge of the league to shift gears, to give grassroots football an even better presentation, because Pele did what Pele did for the U.S. was improving grassroots football from its lowest to its highest, or you know, from Every single aspect, beginning to end, front to back, Pele catapulted the U.S. into what we see today in the context of our sport. Now, what Messi can do is take it to the next level and make it even more potent. Fulfill the potential that we see remains unfulfilled up until this day. Because when I look at the MLS, I always think that it could be done better. I personally think that higher stakes, a sense of competition, the option to look at players and look at these clubs and think, okay, we can do better to improve their mentalities. We can do better to improve the level of competition in this league. We can do better to improve the sense of urgency in this league to improve the viewership, to improve the financial draw in terms of how much more money we can make. But if that money isn't invested once again into the U.S.'s game in a cohesive manner with a proper plan, because this move gives this country everything it could have ever wanted if they actually had it in mind to improve their league, and football overall. People are going to line up for products, messy shirts, probably a lot of shoes are going to be sold. People are going to line up to watch him play. And be that as it may, that the stadium in and of itself isn't necessarily equipped for that because Messi truly is bigger than the club he's going to. There's no debate. But the fact of the matter remains, if they do manage to adapt to the situation, take advantage of it to the best way possible, or in the best way possible, in a good manner, mind you, for the sake of the sport in the country, then the MLS will become something we can't criticize anymore. The MLS will turn into something completely different. It'll go, it, it, it will push up to that step. It will move up the ladder. It will move closer to where it should be. Because the US and Canada, or the countries in general, that, or rather these two countries, because teams from these two countries take part in the MLS, right? They have the facilities and they have the structure for the game to be played properly in these countries. Imagine his influence. Imagine Messi's influence. Imagine what could be done with that influence. The potential is brilliant. It's there. And we can all take advantage of it as fans. Just imagine what the people in charge can do. Messi's move to the MLS is going to shift everything. And I truly hope 
that it does move us all into the right direction. Bearing in mind that the World Cup is a couple of years away and it will be hosted by both countries involved in the MLS. This is huge. This is everything that they could have wanted to happen. And they have to do more with it. And I truly hope Messi enjoys his time playing here. I look forward to seeing how he reacts to playing here. Because based on his reaction and based on his morale, everything else will probably follow. And these are my thoughts on the matter at hand. And that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel if you have. If you haven't, please click that subscribe button if you enjoy my content. I post content on a daily basis. Like the video and hit that bell notifications button because you can get notified if we upload every, when we upload every day because, you know, it's become a casual thing here. Let me know what you think in the comment section below if you agree or disagree with anything I've said. If you think my argument is sound, I'd like to hear your thoughts on the future, on the future of the league and on how Messi could possibly do. And especially on the upcoming World Cup and what kind of effect this could have on it. I will see you all next time the whistle blows. Thank you all once again for tuning in.